right, well, good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video today. Um, as usual, we are on the Ginu. Uh, I hadn't uploaded for a couple weeks, just had a ton of stuff going on with my house. I had a bachelor party at uh, in Silver Glen Springs, so shout out to anyone in that Ocala, Silver Glen area. It was pretty pretty neat area. Um, and just had a lot of stuff going on last week, so I'm back out here uh, today. We're gonna film a pretty, I think it's gonna be a pretty good video. I spent about the past hour and 15 minutes just cast editing, trying to learn something new, which I think all of you guys should always try to do every time you come out here, try to just do something do, new or a little bit different, and I personally don't do that enough, so I just picked a spot and just cast it in my butt off to see what I could find, and I ended up, it's gonna be a little bit hard to see right here. It is a blacked out light bulb, but I I'm loaded with pogies, little pogies like this. We got mullet, um, croakers as well, and uh, I think that's it. Mullet, croakers, and pogies. So a little bit different than what I normally throw with, with the pogies being in there, but I was able to find the croakers and got lucky with a few mullet um, while I was casting it in those pogies. So they were just uh, kind of blooping uh, in a canal and threw on them and I was just whacking them. So I loaded up uh, the biggest ones that are probably about three inches and we're gonna fish snook, redfish, tarpon, maybe a trout today. We're gonna hopefully whack some fish today with them. So yeah, I think, uh, oh, uh, blue hats, uh, blue snook hats and white snook, snook hats are officially all sold out. So big thank you to you guys for uh, supporting the channel, picking them up. That was like the fastest product I have ever had sell out. So thank you guys so much. And uh, weather's looking good today. We're gonna try to catch some fish. Let's uh, go ahead and get rigged up and start fishing. Let's see what we can find. All right, so we're gonna grab a bait out of here. I got so much different stuff in here. This is a pogey here, if you've never seen one. I don't know if they're everywhere in Florida, um, but they got a nice dark spot right there. They got little tiny, tiny, oh, tiny scales. They get pretty big too. If you guys remember in a video last year, I fished with the big guys off the beach for tarpon. But this guy will just rig him up with a 3-0 right through the nose, drop him in the water here. Let's go find some snook. Set up for today, we're rocking the Penn Slammer 4 2500 Fenwick Elite Inshore, 7 foot medium. We've got some 20 pound spider wire braid. We got 40 pound leader, so should be decent. Kind of a medium setup for all things inshore from redfish, snook, trout, tarpon, I mean black drum. I mean, it, it should be perfect for just about everything we'll find today. Um, we're not necessarily targeting giant snook today. May come across a big one, but uh, we should be able to handle it with just this setup right here. Oh, big snook looking right at it. Yep, inhaled it. There it is. Oh no! 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 Got my croaker. Oh, that was like a 28 inch snook right there, man. I messed up. Ate the croaker right in front of me. Ate the croaker right in front of me. I don't know, the hook just didn't grab him. Maybe should have given him another second to eat. All right, there's our first bit of action today. I mean, fish right there. I came tight on him, just, I don't know, a little head shake and the hook popped loose, so it just didn't get him there. Ooh, here's a couple nice snook or trout right here laid up. See if they'll eat. something there it is little trout my first fish of the day not oh there's a nice trout behind it as well oh it's a catfish all right we'll take it i'll take it finally got a fish to bite man i shouldn't say finally i mean i just haven't seen haven't had the right opportunities but first little fish of the day is a little little guy a little sea trout I'll take it, I'll take it. There was actually two of them sitting right there and they were decent sized ones and looks like I ended up with a smaller one that I didn't see, but ate the little pogey. I'll take it. Little tarpon under this dock right here. Oh, big tarpon, big tarpon. Or snook, what is that? Oh, it's a big tarpon. Oh. <laughs> Oh, why this fish give up so fast? It's like you don't even know he's hooked. Just don't jump in the boat. I'm a little tight here. <sighs> Sitting right up under the dock there in the shade. Smoked the mullet. I just yeeted the mullet over there and he slammed against the piling. The tarpon just inhaled it. 
the weirdest tarpon fight ever so far. I don't think I've had a tarpon ever give up like that without ever oh, fully jumping out of the water. There it is. <laughs> this fish is jumping like he's 100 pounds, but it's maybe about a 10 pounder. <laughs> I'll take it. I will take it. Smoke the mullet. He probably would have smoked anything I had in the bucket, honestly, right there. Crushed it. I don't know if this was even the one I saw floating. This one looks a lot bigger. Might have blended right in, didn't see him. He's decent, definitely decent. About 12 pounds, I'd, I'd have to guess. Let's see where this guy's hooked. Got him right in the, looks like the top of the lip. This has got to be the weirdest tarpon fight I have ever had. The tarpon was very lazy when it came to jumping. Oh. Absolutely, that is one of the weirdest tarpon fights I've ever had. Did not really ever fully jump out of the water. For a fish this size, this thing should have been going berserk, but he just didn't. It's very relaxed. Pop that circle hook out. That was a 3 0 there. Looked like maybe he might have been caught before at some point. Looks like he's got a little bit of red on the top of his lip. I don't know if that was from me or from someone else, but we'll spin him around here and send him on his way. Kind of skinny, honestly. There's an absolute ton of bait around, and I feel like that tarpon was kind of skinny for a little skinnier than it should have been. All right, I'll take it. That's 40 pound mono leader, if I didn't mention that before, and a little 3 0 circle hook. Go ahead and cut right above the frayed portion, retie, and maybe we might find some more uh, more tarpon hanging out under these docks. Oh my instant! It's like a hundred snook right there. Oh, all right, we found some. Oh, threw it right there. Spoke too soon. Let me throw on another bait. There's like 50 snook right on that mangrove there. They have not really been eating the pogies all too well. But show them some some over there. They have not been eating the pogies all too well today. Oh, one just ate the, <laughs> they just ate the ones I threw in there. Let me grab some of these. Here's a fat one right here. It's a good, good pogie. I don't know if there are any decent ones in there, but if I put a decent sized bait on and throw it in there, I got a feeling he'll get eat, eaten pretty quick. Let's see. First cast in there. Swim up on the surface, come on. Oh, oh, there's, a, he got smoked. Yep, there it is. Another little guy. Oh, <laughs> another one ate the pogey. I'm gonna have to move on here. There's just a ton of little guys under here. Really fun when you got the right bait. But not what we're looking for. We always try to find as big as fish as we can, and I'll tell you what, there's definitely some bigger fish around. I don't want to waste my good baits either. This guy is about, I don't know, 15 inches, eight, about a four inch pogey. Let's see. All right. Little guy, we've now got, what, snook, tarpon, and a trout. I'll take it. Little fella, send him back. We've got three fish. I guess that makes some sort of slam. We just need our redfish here. And I'll tell you what, our redfish should be fairly easy. Let me see if I got some dead pokies. I'll toss them to them, Snook. Well, currently right now, it's almost 12 o'clock. Been really slow so far today, but I've been waiting for the sun to come up so I can start to see fish. And right now I'm just cruising the mangroves, looking for anything that's floating or hanging out. And I'm gonna be ready to pitch this uh, pokey at it. I haven't, I just got like three fish and they've all been little, so. Seen plenty of decent fish, but can be kind of difficult um, when you can't see them before they see you, so. We'll see, we'll see what happens here. Here's a snook or a tarpon right here. Oh no, this is a tarpon. I 
Oh, nice trout. Trout just got it. Yep, nice trout. There it is. Finally, I actually threw it a tarp in there. It's a really nice trout. Threw at a tarpon, and a uh, trout just came, snuck up right behind it, and grabbed the croaker. That's decent. It's an odd day today. I'll tell you what, it is an odd day. There's a good amount of fish around. It may just not be the best day for live bait, because there is so much bait around. And uh, it's also overcast, so not super easy to sight fish. So our second trout of the day. This one's a bit heavier, though. I'll tell you what, this one's a bit heavier. Let's see if we can get them. Really, really nice trout. This guy's fat. Super fat. Check that out. About a, um, probably about a 19 inch, I would guess. Let's see if I can pop this out gently here. Go ahead. Oh, oh. Yep, there he goes. I'll take it. I think that's like the fourth fish of the day. And while I'm not getting anything huge, I'm like, at least I'm happy to be getting fish. I see a tarpon coming in my future as well. I've seen probably three or four in the past 15 minutes, just kind of haven't. Haven't put the right cast on him to get him to eat. Luckily, I passed by my friend Alex, and he gave me some extra croakers. So I now probably have about six in the bucket. But didn't plan on fishing them today. Just happened to come across them. And I uh, got lucky because Alex gave me some as well. I'll use some mullet as well. It might be tough to get the uh, tarpon to eat a little croaker like this, but I'm sure they'll eat a mullet. Just trying to get back into it today and knock out some fish really is all too. Big trout, big, big trout. Oh, we hammered it. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. Big trout, man. He just swam up and cranked the croaker. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Big trout. That's like a 23, probably. Oh, makes me feel like the old days, sight fishing big, big uh, trout. I haven't done that in like a few years. It really barely ever comes up, but that's good. Good to see. Nice trout. Just caught him kind of drifting in towards the uh, mangroves there and just twitched in front of him and he slammed it. Beautiful fish. Yeah, I'd say probably, oh, come on, probably 22, 22. I'll just try to get a gentle and quick hook set here and we'll send them back. There's some dolphins hanging out behind me, so I definitely don't want them to get this guy. This is a really good fish. All right, send him back up there. There he goes. Perfect, so he swam right back up into the mangroves. The dolphins that are right behind me, um, had no chance all right well we've got three trout today i think that's the most trout i've caught in a video in like a very 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 long time to be honest i think i just saw a tarpon up there too all right where's some fish we're definitely getting in some fish here kind of a slow start to the day but we're finding something all right got another little croaker rig them up through the nose just like that drop them back in still missing that red fish still missing that red really really did not intend on just fishing straight croakers today because I did that in the last video I try to mix it up but you never know what you'll run into out here let's find that red let's find it I, I know he's out here I actually only seen a couple today so far so that's not all that great but I know we'll find one there's a black drum right here if I can get him to eat a croaker that would be interesting you might eat a dead pogey actually because it smells really strong there he is, super shallow. I think I can get him to eat this. He's eating off, uh... Oh, he's gonna eat it. <gasps> he's gonna eat it. Oh, he swam after it, but didn't eat. Are you kidding me? Here he 
is right here. You should smell it. Oh. Oh. Redfish ate it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he swam up into the trees. A hundred miles an hour. Dude, no way. That's when I hook a redfish in all this junk. There is a redfish way up in the trees here. I'm going to have to wiggle him out. I'm going to have to figure out how to get this fish out of here. Oh, boy. Where did this fish even just go? I think I'm going to have to hand line this fish. Oh, man, what a nightmare. A redfish just came out of nowhere and just inhaled the dead pogey when I was throwing out a little black drum. It was a decent red, too. All right, got to figure out how to get this redfish out of here. This would be for the uh, the slam. Tell you what, I think I got to hand line him. I think I have to hand line this fish. He swam straight through all of these giant trees right here. I'm just going to open the bail and put the rod in my boat. Oh, that was just terrible timing. I was not expecting that at all. Swim right back here. Still on there. Still on there. Definitely not what you want to do. This fish is right in here. Swimming right at me right now. Oh boy. He's right there, that red. Oh, come on, come on. He's right in front of me. I just gotta make sure this line doesn't get tangled up here. What a mess. He just, I was just, oh, scared. Me. Okay. He just went in a circle around my leg. Dude, this red is a freaking mess. He's right out here to my right. Dude, if I land this fish without a rod, <laughs> he's right here. I just don't want him to rub on anything. I don't want to grab the line too good. I'm going to have to reach down there and grab him. Come on. I just wasn't at all expecting that redfish to just come out and come out of nowhere. Come out of nowhere. He's right here. He's literally right here. I can do this. Oh, almost got him. Almost got him. Almost got him. Just don't break me off now. Don't break me off now. I got you, bud. I got you, bud. I got you, bud. <laughs> I got you. Oh, not a big red just... I literally was not expecting that, and when that fish ate, he went up into the trees a million miles an hour, and uh, unless I wanted to break this fish off, I kind of just needed... Whoa! No! <laughs> I was saying I kind of just need to take the heat off him here, and just uh, kind of wrangle him out, because if you guys can see here, these logs, there's a million of them, and that just wasn't going to be... wasn't going to fly. Didn't want to break off a fish. All right, pulled the hook out. Just like that, we're gonna send him on his way. Definitely never, <laughs> never took him out of the water. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. He got me pretty decent there when I dropped him, but hey, I'll take it. That uh, getting in the water and kind of wrangling around a little bit to get a fish there is better than uh, just trying to body him out of here because if you guys can see, every piece of wood here is covered in uh, barnacles and those are razor sharp, so it'll cut the line no problem. Let me just pull this out of here and we get all this stuff untangled. We'll hop back in the boat. All right, figured I'd hop back up on the trolling motor here. Give it another couple minutes since I have bait. Just see if I can find one more fish if I'm if I'm lucky. Definitely if I'm lucky. As you guys can see here, there's tons and tons of glass minnows. Tons of bait today, man. Just tons of it.
Oh, nice red, nice red, nice red. Oh. Oh. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Stay with me, stay with me. Nice red, nice red. Nice red. Oh. Stay, 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 stay. Oh. Nice fish, man. No, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Get out of there. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out. Dude, the timing of that, man. Oh, it's a good fish. Timing of that, man. I said, let me, since I got bait, let me just put one more bait on. If I'm really lucky, I'll, I'm going to give it literally like a few hundred more feet and go home. Second I put the bait on, turn around. No, 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 no. Stay out of the trees, stay out of the trees, stay out of the trees. Come out. Yep, I got him now. It's a nice fat fish. Nice fat red. He's about 24, 25. Oh, the luck, man. The luck. I was just feeling like I was feeling weird today about these fish. Feeling really weird. This fish must have came out of this cove right here. Nice fish. Oh, come on, come on, come on. It's a good fighting fish. Definitely a good, good, good fighting fish. Yeah, this fish is 25. Come on. Let's get you in. Let's get you in. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Let's get you in. Nice fish. Lamb right there. How about that one? Beautiful red. All right, well, this is definitely gonna be the final fish of the day here. About a 25 inch red, smoked the little tiny croaker up, uh, actually it was just right up on the surface there. And I saw him through the croaker to him and he swam right down on it and just boom slammed it so really really pretty red this was the fish we needed to kind of end the day off it was a weird day it was a weird day so let me go ahead and uh unhook this guy put him back in the water but really really pretty fish there really nice one came out of some brown water too all right well really nice fish right there slammer 2500 got it done that was a 25 inch red good heavy fish that got him around structure for sure he was up in those mangroves and definitely wanted to get in them but it's a weird day it's been a weird day very hazy the water's kind of cold i think because of all the rain the past couple days water's up as well um, and there's just been a ton of bait around and uh not as many fish as i would have hoped today we did get some good fish today uh, a couple nice reds a couple nice trout uh i don't think we got any decent snook today did we nah uh decent tarpon though we got like a uh, what i would consider a grand slam for my area so we did pretty good pretty good so it was a weird day cool and overcast not really the typical uh kind of summer weather we've been having so yeah fishing was weird thank you guys so much for watching today i appreciate it thank you for clicking on the video uh please subscribe if you haven't done so already and thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in that next video